them. The Briggs rule. I love them. I see them whenever I can. I love the Briggs. In 2001, no one could have imagined that a fledgling a cappella band would one day rise to glory and fame. Now, more than 400 live appearances and three albums later, the Dregs have taken the Midwest pub scene by storm. But even after six years in the limelight, much of their past remains a mystery. All they do all day is drink and make noise. The Dregs, a bunch of Irish drunken posers. <laughs> Dregs is a not-so-traditional Irish band from Minnesota, and by not-so-traditional, I mean not-so-Irish. I think only two of us have any Irish blood at all. I mean, we're all from Minnesota. That pretty much spells Scandinavian. Well, I think Frost is Finnish, and I know that Angelina's from Costa Rica, but I think I'm the only one that's 100% gay. Well, not that that shows in the music or anything. So now I am a single man in search of a pretty face. And the man who says he'll have me, I'm off to Harbor Grace. Oh me, oh my. Originally dubbed Pubkin, the dregs arose from the ranks of the Minnesota Renaissance Festival when a group of wayward performers began singing sea shanties and body Irish songs in their spare time. <laughs> I'm actually ashamed to try and explain how we got together because the truth of it is, we were just a bunch of drunks hanging out in a bar one afternoon who accidentally figured out we could harmonize. It was dumb luck, really. I mean, we kind of all found our parts, and then people started asking us to sing everything from Irish lullabies to songs about people getting into a brawl at a funeral. They are occasionally really funny and often sound good. And they drink beer, and they're lots and lots of fun, and they're very talented. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Dregs, the only band at the Minnesota Renaissance Festival you can find at the bottom of a whiskey barrel. Yep. That's right. Now, what we do like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we like to have our audience help us decide what songs we're going to sing. Now, when I talk about our audience, of course, I am specifically referring to this guy right back here. Hi, guy right back here. What's your name? David. David, that's a fine Irish name. I'm Irish, David. That'll work. He's Irish! He's Irish! All right, David, here's the deal. We got four song styles that we sing here at Max Pub. Now, I'm gonna tell you the song styles. You tell us what style you want us to sing. Now, this is very important, David. Whatever you do, do not tell us the name of a song because the odds are we don't actually know it. All right? Just, yeah, just. David, we don't actually know it. All right, all right, all right, so here we go. Here we go, song style number one. What? Emphasis. Thanks, great. Song style number one. <laughs> that is a sea shandy. That's a song about the sea, sung by sailors at sea, or a song about the sea, sung by sailors who aren't at sea, but wish they would see singing to get all that David. All right, song style number two is a body song. Uh, if you need to know what kind of song that is, David, you really shouldn't request it. All right. David, that's a song about corpses. All right, if I need your help, I will kill myself. Now. Please do. That's style number two. Song style number three. Bing. All right, that combines two topics. Irish people love to sing about those two topics being drinking and dying. And song style number four. Bing. All right. Song style number four. Bing. Bing. Is a stupid pretty song. What do you want to hear, David? Drinking and dying. Drinking and dying song. <laughs>